Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are venturing into the realm of street photography and shining the spotlight on a compact powerhouse, the Ricoh GR3. We will explore whether this is truly the ultimate everyday carry camera you can always take with you wherever you go, or if it's a great camera for a precise kind of people. I mean, street photographers, aficionados. Let's find out. When we think street photography, we think agility and subtlety. The GR3 with its petite frame embodies this ethos. Its inconspicuous nature can be a boon, especially if you are a beginner shy street photographer scared of confronting with people that may ask you why you captured their photograph. With this little unobtrusive camera, nobody feels like they are under the lens, making candid shots a breeze. Portability is essential for tree photography and the GR3 is like a ninja in the crowd, so inconspicuous it is less intimidating than other cameras. The camera's design is worthy of mention. The ergonomics for this pocket rocket is surprisingly good. It's sleek, compact, yet doesn't compromise on grip. A subtle bump ensures the camera sits snugly in hand. But here is a tip from personal experience. Keep a wary eye on those buttons. They are strategically placed, but can be pressed unintentionally.
Delving into the lens specs, the 28mm f2.8 is a marvel on the streets. With an IPSC sensor, it gives a rich depth even wide open. My Leica Q3, which I adore, also boasts a 28mm lens, so using the GR3 felt like a familiar dance, and that's a compliment of the highest order. Let's talk about responsiveness. We have all had moments that slipped away because our camera wasn't ready. With the GR3, that's history. A flick and you are set to capture. It's almost telepathic. Now focusing, the GR3 offers a unique proposition, it has press and it acts like any other camera. With a full press it engages the snap focus, locking onto a preset distance, I usually have mine dialed into 2 meters. For my American audience, think 6.5 feet, it's a game changer, especially when you want the distance shot without the focus pass. If you doubled with the Fujifilm, you appreciate the GR3's JPEG simulations, a reminiscent frills. That art black and white is a pure art in the right setting, and there are more in the palette to experiment with. We have praised it, but no camera is without its quirks. The GR3's battery life could use a boost, the absence of a viewfinder or flip screen is noticeable, and sometimes, just sometimes, the autofocus wishes it had an extra shot of espresso. In wrapping up, where does the GR3 stand? For dedicated street photography, this little Titan punches its way above its weight. But as a daily driver, my Fujifilm X100B and Leica Q3 still hold their ground. Yet, there is an undeniable charm to the GR3, a connection to the streets that's hard to ignore. Thanks for being with me today. 
If this delve into the Ricoh GR3 resonated with you, show some love with a thumbs up and do consider subscribing for more insights and reviews. Remember, the streets have stories, our job is to capture them. Until next time, happy shooting!